What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my Final Fantasy IX Alternate Fantasy Mod playthrough. Guys, we are on part 40 right now and we've done the grinding. So I've learned pretty much the vast majority of abilities for uh, for most characters. There are still a few, you know, little bits and pieces that I've not learned. But that's okay, we can pick them up as we go. You know, the vast majority are learnt now, so that's all we that's all we really, really need. So we're gonna carry on with the story. Which does of course mean we are going to Ibsen's Castle. Right after I actually change my uh, my party around. And you know, I still haven't really decided who I'm actually going to be using in the party. I know I'm gonna have Beatrix, like for sure. We need to we need to have Beatrix. She is unique to this mod, so she definitely uh, she definitely has to be in there. As for the others, I'm not I'm not quite sure who to use, to be honest. It's like Arid would be good. Simply due to you know like uh, no mercy and all all that sort of stuff. Like Arid's trance is definitely very helpful and will be very helpful against the custom bosses. So having him would be an amazing boon. Plus he does have a really high attack power weapon. So I do I do want him in there. And then I can't really decide between whether to have Ditlutz or Strike as my healer. Now in the OG. Dit is better, but in the mod I've heard that Garnet has like a much, much, much needed improvement. So I don't know. I think I think for now we're gonna go with we're gonna go with Dit just because like you know the abilities are learned and all that, and she is kind of lower level, so we can get you know like higher higher stats with her. But yeah, for now that's that's what I'm thinking anyway. Right. Let's just gear up fully, and then we can move on. So, what are we actually going to be using for equipment? Um, I'm thinking we're gonna go for more stat gain right now. To be honest, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking stat gain. So for today, we definitely want spirit and speed more than anything. We don't really care too much about his, um, you know, his his strength. Simply due to the fact Zidane doesn't really use strength all that much, to be honest. It's like the big the big thing with Zidane is spirit and speed. Because if you don't know the thief weapons that he can actually, you know, like uh, equip in that, they actually gain power based on his spirit. So strength doesn't really do much for us. But then there's also speed, you know, for faster turns. So it is a little, it is a little iffy on what we're gonna go with. But I think for Skeef, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna focus on spirit. In fact, no, I'm gonna focus on speed as well. Speed would definitely be really handy for us for sure. So like we like as much speed as we can get will be, you know, a very big benefit. As for Beatrix, um. For now, I'm gonna focus on spirit and speed, just just for now, and then I might move on to magic later for, her. just because like you know improving like improving holy would be really 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 good. So I definitely want to try and improve that up to max damage, and then we'll start working on her you know her physical and that. See how we can get there. Alright, now Amaranth's spirit is really low, so I'm actually going to give him a rebirth ring. Because that comes with four whole uh, points, which is going to be great. Uh, there's no point me changing weapons, because I need to change them anyway for Ibsen's castle. Also, I do need to have the lower tier weapons equipped for that. Uh, I should probably get some magic on dip for level up some type. But I definitely need speed. Like, she's only got 22 speed. Sure, so she's definitely getting uh, a running shoes for sure. Right. Okie dokie. We are now fully equipped. So let's go to Ibsen's castle. And hopefully, hopefully, we're gonna actually gain um, Odin here. Because obviously, normally this is where you would gain the, um, like, the ability up for Odin. Uh, hello, can you like get off the airship, please? 
There we go. But yeah, normally this is where you would gain the ability for dagger, so Odin does like actual physical damage rather than, you know, like uh, the insta death attack. But we still don't actually have Odin. So I'm kind of hoping that this is where we'll actually unlock him, basically, because we still don't have a dark matter. Which sucks. Alright, let's go. Oh, I can't actually remember. Is Ipsen near the south or the north? Um, I think Ipsen's is at the north, actually. So like, we will we will have a look. See here. Uh, no, that's Wind Shrine. Oh man, there's always there's always that one place that I always forget where it is. It's like no matter no matter what we're doing. Okay, well there's uh, Oliver. So yeah, it's going to be to the north. But yeah, no matter what FF game I play, and no matter how many times I play it, I will always forget where one place is. And it doesn't it doesn't matter what the place is. Like, the place will change. Sometimes I can, you know, forget where Ibsen's castle is. Sometimes I'll forget where Oilvert is, and so on and so forth. It's like, there's always, there's always places like that. Especially with the open world, you know what I mean? Like, I don't really have that issue in, in 10. But for... For this, yeah, there's definitely uh, there's definitely some getting lost involved. Oh shit! Why on earth did I put Arid in? He's actually about to get kicked out. You know what? That's fine. I'm gonna leave him geared like that though, just so I don't have to do it later. Who should I use instead of him though? I'm thinking. I'm thinking if I take Steiner instead. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'll take Steiner instead. To be honest. Cause he's still he's still a melee character, and he should still do a decent amount of damage. In fact, no. Instead of instead of Steiner, I'll take Vivi, because magic damage should still do its full damage here. So yeah, we'll do we'll do that. I think. I mean, I don't really have any good abilities on Quinna other than, you know, Mighty God. So, we we can we can leave Quinna out. I think. So yeah, we'll take we'll take Vivi. Because then I don't have to worry about changing, you know, Steiner's weapon down to his lower level one. Hmm. I wonder if I say don't let him go, will he actually go off on his own? Oh well, we'll, we'll let him go. It's fine. Bye, Arad. Bye, dude. I wonder if Beatrix is going to say anything here. It's like she's just nodding her head to the side. Just watching everything going on. Oh, she didn't say anything. God damn it. Right, we're just going to take Vivi. I should equip him though, really, shouldn't I? Uh, let's see. Magic booster. Absorbs wind and water. Raises water elements. Yeah, I'm going to keep that on just so we can use water attacks, I think. And then... I don't know. I guess we're just going to give Vivi, like, everything, pretty much. I'm going to give him magic armlet, though, to improve my magic. My robe of lords. Um, what should I give him here? Just anything really that improves magic, I guess. Yeah, I'll we'll give him the magician shoes. Why not? Right. Okie dokie. Uh, do I need to change any of these abilities? I'll take level up off. I don't need him to have that. I don't need him to have locomotion. It gives me eleven points. Unfortunately, not enough for auto regen or auto life. I'm going to use Reflect Null, just in case the boss in here has Reflect. And then we'll also go Loudmouth to protect against Silence. Yeah, I don't know if the boss in here is actually going to have, like, Silence. I should change my weapons as well. Uh, silence? No, not Silence. Um, I don't know if he's going to have Reflect, because that does seem to be, uh, does seem to be a thing for, you know, some of the some of the bosses in here. They do seem to have, uh, like, Auto Reflect. So we're definitely gonna we're gonna keep that off. Well, we're gonna keep that on for now. You know, just as a just as a precaution. That way, if he does have reflect, we can still flare the crap out of him, or we could just like water him. You know. Right. So let's go get all the uh, all the stuff, shall we? Oh man, I'm really not a fan of the fights in Ibsen's though. To be fair, it's like they are incredibly annoying in here because obviously like everything's upside down and all that. So. Ugh. So like we can't use our overpowered gear that we just got from Choco Graphs, man. Magnet! Yeah, give me give me the letter, dude. Give me the letter. Yeah, we don't need to worry about Magnet Central just yet. We're gonna do it that way later. 
Uh, oh yeah, these are just like all the uh, all the early stuff, aren't they? Uh, actually, what about armors? Do I need to buy any of these? Um, doesn't look at... No, it seems like I have everything. Yeah, I've got everything there. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Do I need any high potions? 31, 31. No, that'll be, that'll be enough for now, I think. Yeah, 31 is enough for us to cope with, for sure. We don't really need to, we don't really need to get any more than that. I mean, if push comes to shove, I could always just use Beatrix to heal as well, really, couldn't I? Alright, let's see if I can still remember how to actually get everything in here. Like, it's been, it's been so long since I've actually, you know, gone ahead and, like, got 100% in Ibsen's Castle. Because, obviously, it's all, like, it's all starting equipment. So, normally, there's just, like, no need at all to do this. So, it's very, very rare that I will actually, you know, get everything in here. Hopefully. Hopefully, my memory is not failing me today, though. Well, I say that, but it normally does fail me, so, you know, there, there is that. Oh, where am I going? Um, I need to jump off to the right. I need to get that other one from near the javelin. Where is it? Um, is it down or up here? I think it's up. I think I've just gone the wrong way. Yeah, it's up. God damn it. Okay, it's this one. It's a this one. And jump off. Okie dokie, so we got them, um, I can't do the aroma just yet, I don't think, I don't think I can anyway, um, I'm fairly sure I need to do that later, because it's down there, <coughs> alright, let's just do the doorway first, this is strange, examine, you know, Zidane gets really, really lucky with this one. Although, I just don't get how it would realistically work. Because obviously he tries pushing it and it doesn't do anything, right? So, why is it just leaning on it actually opens it? That's one thing I just don't get. Posh. Come on. Come on, Zidane. Use those, use those big old muscles, dude. Come on, Skeef. Work those muscles, bro. I, dude, I said I said work the muscles, not just like head bash it. Oh, I tell you, man, I tell you. Now that right there is a broken foot. Oh, what item are we actually gonna get here? I can't remember. Um, I think it's the barret, right? I'm fairly I'm fairly sure it's a barret item out here. We'll see. And the stairs are now open as well. God damn it, a battle, dude. I was so hoping for a second that we would get all the way through here without actually getting a fight. And it's a Cerberus. Okay, how much damage am I actually going to do here? Uh, Beatrix attack, Zidane attack. Uh, I'm not going to use Holy. Let me use Flare. Actually, no, let's use Watergo. Uh, Watergo, 31. Dude, the insta death. No, she's not going to gain any EXP now, is she? God damn it. God freaking damn it. Oh, I need to... Dude, that's so much damage. Holy crap. I need to actually make sure that I have a bandit equipped on uh, Skeef as well. Yeah, I definitely need to make sure I have that on. Otherwise, we could be in a spot of barber. And I also need to revive Beatrix. God damn it. Well, she's fully healed now at least. How long she'll stay alive for, I don't know. Uh, right. Uh, do, 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 do. Bandit, a bandit, a bandit is not on. Okay, it's a good job I uh, I looked at that then. Uh, what can I take off? Well, I don't need ability up because like I have no abilities to learn, and I don't need money to. What is going on? Why is my thingy just like automatically trying to move down? It's weird. Hmm. Oh, there's bandit. Right. So now we can steal from the boss easy enough. What about Beatrix? What does she have? Um, I don't really need money to on her. I'm gonna take protect girls off actually, so that I can use. Maybe I should use half MP actually. Yeah, use half MP because then 
I can spam holy. Actually, I can spam holy with Aiko as well, can't I? So I can use holy with Beatrix and Aiko. And then I can use War to Go with Vivi. That alone should deal like 20,000 plus damage. That's gonna be that's gonna be a hell of a lot of damage to be fair. It's like we'd only realistically need like two turns. Well, two turns to kill the boss anyway. And then after after we kill the boss, hmm. I just wonder who is Beatrix actually gonna go with for the shrines? Like that is that is one thing I don't get. Who is Beatrix actually going to go with for the shrines? Because obviously the groups are split up in groups of two. And because there's only eight characters in the OG, it's a nice even split. So I wonder who she's actually going to go with. I would assume she's going to go with um, Dagger. But then, I don't know, with her being made a playable character, maybe she'll come with Zidane and Quina. Which would, you know, realistically help a lot for Leech. But... I don't know. I don't think I don't think we're going to be that lucky to be fair. I do think more than likely she's actually going to go with um a dagger. Just because, you know, she is like Alexandria's general and all that like she's here to protect dagger. So I think I think if anybody like if she is going to go with anybody, it probably is going to be her. But at the same time though, she might she might not, you know, like it, it's anybody's guess, dude. Anybody's guess. Uh, what's he doing? Drain? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I mean, that didn't even really do much. Like, that really didn't do anything at all. Oh, uh, why is Fleeting, like, nearly dead? I should heal him, shouldn't I? Oh, please don't kill Fleeting. Please don't kill Fleeting. I've literally just tried to... Okay, there we go. That's fine. That's fine. Dude, that did a thousand damage to Skeef? What? I mean, I know, I know I'm not really using, like, my best gear right now, okay? I know my gear is not the best right now, but holy shit balls, dude. Okay, we're gonna have to full life Dit. And then I definitely need to get Dit to use Kyoriga. Oh, maybe, maybe I should try and use Regen as well. Yeah, I might have to, I might have to put Regen up, I think. Oh, dude, this is gonna, this is gonna suck. Okay. Okay. Well, Beatrix is dead. Oh, no. I definitely, definitely should have just used actual armor for this fight. Rather than trying to go for the stat gains, yeah, I should have. Hang on. Is he actually gonna AoE attack? He is going to area attack, so... If I get VV to Phoenix down Beatrix... No, I can't because Dit's frozen again. Shit, dude. Oh, I really should have had body temp on, to be honest. I really, really, really should have had body temp on. Holy crap. Um, right, Kyorga. And did that say it didn't have anything? I think that said it didn't have anything. Let me try stealing again, just in case. I see. I didn't. I didn't actually see if that said didn't have anything or failed to steal. And then let's use water. Doesn't have anything. Okay, we can. We can murder it. We can murder it. Oh come on! Don't silence VV. Oh wait, no, that's trouble. Never. Never mind. I, ignore me. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I don't have the MP for holy, and I can't summon Medine either. Crap. Uh, okay, ether it is. I don't have any ethers, do I? No, I don't have any ethers. Well, shit. Okay, um... I'm gonna heal then, I'm gonna heal. And then we'll use Grand Lethal. Oh, Holy only did like 3,000. That's way less than I was hoping for there. Will you stop murdering Beatrix? Holy crap, dude! Mm -mm -mm. I need to get rid of that trouble. I really need to cleanse trouble. Uh, I'm gonna use that with dead. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use dead to get rid of that trouble. I think. 
Ah, uh, but I also need to full life Beatrix. I'm gonna full life Beatrix first. Oh, yeah, I don't have half MP on Aiko, do I? Uh, okay. Wow, dude, that did 68 damage. Are you for real? That did 68 damage, dude. Oh, my lord. Right, let's just cleanse with uh, Zidane as well, since he doesn't really seem to be doing anything. Where on earth is the one that heals trouble? Where is it? There it is. I'm just blind, man. I'm just blind. That's all it does. Water go again. It looks like this fight is solely down to Vivi right now. I am, like, phenomenally lucky here that I actually just went ahead and used Vivi instead of... Oh, shit. I can't use Pyorga. Okay. Um, hmm, this could be troublesome now because I don't actually have much health on, like, anybody. I really need to revive Beatrix as well. I want her to gain the AP for this fight. Yeah, dude, imagine imagine if I didn't bring Vivi here. Imagine if I did bring Steiner. I would be doing, like, no damage this whole fight. Holy crap, man. Oh, Skeefing died as well. Okay, at least he has a little life, though, so it's not the end of the world. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna break out the elixirs now. I think we're gonna we're gonna break out the elixirs for sure. Definitely need to do something to try and heal up here anyway. Fuck! That was before the elixir could go off. God damn it! Uh, I'll tell you what, let me full life with Beatrix, and then I can use an elixir on Beatrix. Yes, open up, buddy, open up. Right, okay, Dit can use AoE Kyorga. Now, as long as Vivi's Elixir goes off, which it did, okay, thank God for that. Okay, we are, we are fine, we are fine, everything is fine. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna transcend Fleeting. Yeah, I'm gonna transcend Fleeting. Uh, that's Gradual Petrify, isn't it? I need to get rid of that. Tricks. I think that's Gradual Petrify anyway. Is that Gradual Petrify? It's either Gradual Petrify or Gradual Doom. Right, well this should VV. It uh, should VV? This should trans VV now. Oh no. Beatrix is gonna die or get stoned here, isn't she? Oh man, that timer moves too quickly, dude. Can't cast, she was stoned. Right, let me just soft her. And then Vivi can use Watergo, and that'll put me down to 30 MP. I need something else. Watergo and Drain, I guess. And then I'll use an Elixir on Vivi for MP. Right, okay. We should, 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 should be set now. Oh, no man, I guess I didn't need the chance. Well, okay. Okay. Sure, what, whatever game, whatever. Dude, that was quite a tough fight though. Like, bosses are definitely getting kind of mean now. I definitely think I'm at that point where I should do a little bit of leveling. Because, like, I'm being I'm being too shot. I know my gear is not, like, the best because I am set up for stat gains rather than, you know, actual defense. But even then, the stats that I am, I am missing would not make up for it. Like, the difference in defense values would not make up for it, unfortunately. So I'm definitely in a rather troublesome spot now, to be honest. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely in a troublesome spot. So I think before we go to Terra, I'm gonna have to actually do a level grind. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do a level grind, to be honest. Hmm. I mean, it should be okay, because I have auto-reflect on most people, so Grand Dragon Thundergo won't really do anything to me. Um, I have auto-life, I have antibody. Yeah, we should be, we should be okay, to be honest. Should be, anyway. And yes, I know about that treasure chest, we're gonna get it in a minute, it's fine, don't worry. Before I go outside, though, I am going to go for the Ancient Aroma. 
Yeah, 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 the traps are active. Like, who who actually makes traps in castles these days, man? Like, really? Especially little fall ones like that. That's just so dangerous, man. So, so dangerous. Alright, up we go. If we get the aroma now, then I don't have to worry about it later. Plus, I also actually need to get this. Wait, is that a door there? No, it's not at all. Okay, never mind. I was going crazy for a second there. Oh, I really hope this will actually teach Odin. I've never understood why the giant sword is there either, to be fair. Like, it's, it makes no sense to me. Like, it must be a giant sword, dude. It's like, who is big enough to use a sword that big and heavy? Plus, I mean, why is it charged by electric, you know what I mean? Since it seems to be related to Odin, why is it charged by electric? Like, it makes, it makes no real sense when you think about it. Maybe Odin is, like, Thunder Elemental or something. I don't know. And there's the power. Right, so what's actually on it? Okay, there's the Ancient Aroma. Let's have a look. See, I think anybody can actually equip this, so... Ancient Aroma, Ancient Aroma. Nope. Okay, maybe only females can equip it. Ancient Aroma. So it is still Odin's sword. Okay. Okay. Raise his shadow elemental attack. So, I mean, it still teaches Odin's sword, but we still haven't found a way to actually learn Odin yet. So, how on earth am I meant to get that? Hmm. This is getting real sus, man. This is definitely getting hella sus. I really, I really don't know how I'm meant to get Odin. I mean, the only thing I can think of is Disc Fortrino. Disc Fortrino or Memoria. Um, or it could be a Disc for Synth, maybe? I don't know. Like, there's so many, there's so many vet, like, possible ways they could do it. Maybe it's a reward for one of the new minigames as well, because I didn't actually really do the balloon minigame, did I? Right, you know what? Just for safety here, I'm going to turn encounters off, because I don't want any random battles with just the Dane and the party. And we're also going to fall down here, so I can pick... No, 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 screw screw you, man. I don't want to see Ira just yet. There we go. Okay, now we'll go say hello to Arid. How do I get down from here? There we go. How you doing, Aaron? You you okay, buddy? Right, now I need to try and remember how I get the treasure chests from the top chandelier. Um, no, I can't. I can't remember that one. I think I just need to climb the pole, actually, in the main room. Just climb the pole all the way up, and that should be how we get them. Yeah, you're fine, Aaron. Come on, bro. Come on. And then I, oh, I need to go back to the... Uh, the airship, don't I? Because obviously I came here on my chugger, so I need to ride my chugger, fly all the way back to my airship. Unequip Vivi. Take Vivi out the party and put Arid back in. Although, thinking about it now, actually, having Vivi might be better for the magic. Hmm. Oh, man. I don't know, dude. I don't know. There's so many different ways we could do this. It's like, oh, I am thinking that I need magic now, to be honest. I'm definitely thinking we need magic in the party, for sure. Because, like, originally I was going to try and do it with just, um... Just Holy from Aiko and Beatrix. But now I'm thinking I do actually need some black magic from Vivi. I mean, I know, I know Arid is strong in that, but still. I probably should have actually unequipped Arid just while I had him in the party. Because I know I wouldn't actually... Well, I need to go back to the airship anyway, actually, don't I? To do the 
four shrines. Hmm. Well, we'll be we'll be fine, right? We're we're totally gonna be fine. I think. I wonder if we'll actually have to fight the other guardians. Ooh, is he gonna talk to Beatrix? One is all, all I want. We're gonna conquer all four locations at once. Yeah, so where's where's Beatrix going? I mean, you just said you'll drop two off at each location. There's Beatrix here, dude. Princess, allow me to come with you too. Knew it. Knew it. We are nine in total. One team must have three members. Well, what about your so-called ladies first? <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, I, I got that right. Beatrix is going with Dagger. I should have known, man. I should have goddamn known. Oh, dude. Right. Okay, so I need to unequip Arid. Um, I mean, I'll just throw these in for now. Because, I mean, they're going to be... They're going to leave the party anyway, aren't they? So, let me just unequip Arid. Okay, there's him unequipped. And away we go. Alright, let's go drop everyone off at the shrine, shall we? Uh, so the closest shrine to me right now would be the water shrine, wouldn't it? So if we do water shrine, then we'll do... I guess we'll do wind shrine, because we're like already on the same continent and that. Don't make us ladies wait. No, no promises. No promises. We can do all the girl talk. <laughs> Beatrix just like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, dude. I can't wait to see any other, like, hidden dialogue with Beatrix. Because if you don't know, by the way, um, Beatrix's dialogue and that, uh, they didn't actually mod that in. Like, that's not that's not fake dialogue. That Like, the dialogue with Beatrix is actually in the base files. Because I'm guessing originally during the, uh, the development of FF9, Beatrix was going to be an actual recruitable character. Wait a minute. This is the wind shrine, right? Um. Why is it not letting me go to the wind shrine? Uh. Uh oh. Right. Let's do. Let's do fire shrine first instead. Then I guess. That's a weird one. Why was it not letting me... Oh, no, we're not going to Shimmering Island just yet. That's going to be later. Hmm. So why did... Yeah, I should probably turn no encounters off. Why did that not let me go into the Wind Shrine? I don't think you have to do these in a specific order. I don't think you do anyway. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Either way, we'll see. We'll see. Right. Um, back down to the Wind Shrine. Let's, let's try this now. Because obviously I can't do the Earth one until last. The Earth one has to be last. Alright, so is it actually going to let me drop off? Yeah, okay. So I do have to do them in order. God damn it. Bye, baby. Bye, Steiner. The wind is strong? Yeah, dude, the wind's really strong. At least Kiro's weighted down by all that heavy equipment, man. There is nothing to fear. <laughs> Bye, baby. Uh... Are they gonna be okay? Uh, no. No. Yeah, we need to we need to worry about ourselves, because we're with Dark, man. We're with Dark. Of all the people in the world, man, we had to be stuck with Dark. I'm only kidding, Dot. Please don't murder me. Right. Let's go. Let's uh, go for Leech. Uh, I do need to land, actually, though. Because I need to equip Dot. And I also need to save. Because I'm definitely a little hesitant on how this is actually going to go. I'm just going to land here. Right. Okay. Um. First things first. I need to protect against Earth. 
Just anything that protects me against earth. Absorbs earth. Okie dokie. We'll have that. Um, I should probably have something to protect me from... Okay, I've got cheap fate on, so that's fine. Antibody, uh, locomotion. I need something for Jally, for stone. I feel like we could end up getting petrified. Let me take auto life off. For Jally, and I'll protect against confuse as well. And body temp. Okay, so I'm basically protected against everything now. Dot, you can... Take level up off, gamble defense off. Um, shoot. I definitely want Jolly. Ah, that's all I really had. Okay, uh, equipment. Right, so let's see how this actually goes. Charlery. You know what, actually, because it's Dart, I'm just going to optimize. And then. I need something that protects me from Earth that isn't the Robe of Lords. Do I have anything? Just like anything at all, man. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, everyone. A dentist decided to phone me and change my dentist appointment once again. I tell you, man, like, they've changed this appointment on me now, like, six times over. It's getting kind of annoying, to be fair. It's like, why can't they, why can't they just keep one goddamn time slot, dude? <laughs> Oh, right. So what can we what can we have that absorbs if we have to have an accessory, right? I mean, if damage reduced, which would help. I mean, I could technically just equip like auto float, which would solve everything, but I don't really want to do that. I'd rather absorb it if I could. But from the looks of things, I don't actually have hmm. It looks like we are going to have to use something for equipment, like the armor. Yeah, see, we're going to have to use a Gaia gear. Special ability, frog growth. What? What on earth is frog growth, dude? What on earth is frog growth? Okay, I'm going to have to look that one up, I think. Okay, so they're protected against earth. They're kind of protected against death. So we should be... We should be okay. Let's go ahead and save, and then we'll do we'll do leech, and then, 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 then we are off to Terra, which is probably gonna suck. I don't know. I might I might grind before we go to Terra, maybe. Yeah, I think I might do a little grinding before Terra. But though, everybody, I am afraid to say that we are going to be ending this video here. Still, though, I do hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, then please be sure to smash that like button. And, of course, leave a comment down below. And for anybody new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content. As always, everybody, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.